Three billion shares traded just this afternoon and uh, traders trying to tidy things up before the weekend. So things have been very hectic all day and volumes the best we've seen for a month. Daphne. May Zhao there live from the trading floor. Thanks, May. OK, lively discussion guaranteed here, as always, as we get macro and talk commodities. Continuing here in the studio with our guest, Michael O'Donoghue, Head of Commodities at Four Continents Capital Management. And we're also joined by Brent Lawson from Lawson Frisk Securities. Happy to be here. Good to have you with us, Brent. Now, gentlemen, Brent, where's your money going this year? Well, Daphne, we've been going short on gas and oil recently and casting our net just a little bit wider. We really like the human being story a lot. Uh, if you look at a long-term chart, prices are at historical lows, and yet global demand for forced labor is still real strong. So that's a scenario that we think we should be capitalizing on. Michael, what's your take on the people's story? Are you interested? Well, definitely. Non-voluntary labor's greatest advantage as an asset is the endless supply. We're not about to run out of people. No other commodity has that. Daphne, if I may draw your attention to one thing, that is that private equity has been sniffing around, and that tells me that this market is about to explode. Uh, Africans and Indians, as usual, uh, South Americans, and Eastern Europeans in particular are on our buy list. Interesting. Michael, bottom line, what's your recommend? We're recommending to our clients a buy and hold strategy. There's no need to play the market. There's a lot of vulnerable people out there. It's very exciting. Exciting stuff indeed. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Please stay with us. We'll be back after this short break with further insights into this fascinating market.